last time on Mysterious Island. You just washed up in the waves. Why didn't you say anything when you threw me the vine? Because it wasn't us that threw it. We have everything we need here to build a boat. Look at this engraving, Captain. Someone is anticipating our needs. If there was someone else on the island, why wouldn't he make himself known to us? Look, it's our balloon. How are we going to get this all back to Granite House? We could float it home. Spill it! Yeah, swim for shore! There was a waterfall. I, I don't know what happened to them. Uh, don't let go! That's one of them! Someone is toying with us. The monster! Whatever it is, it's a big one! Father. Herbert, no! Get to it. No, but maybe we can get it to them. No, Joanna! Let me go, Captain! You can't help them! Then you do something! There's nothing that we can do! For sure! I'd sure like to know what it was. What is it? Huh? Well, I'll be. What do you make of it, Harding? There's something inside of it. I'll break it and see. Don't you dare. I want that bottle in one piece. Cork's very dry. What a brilliant invention, Ned. Oh, it stinks. <laughs> Fish oil. There is something inside. <laughs> Herbert, you try. It looks like a letter. Oh, what a surprise. Well, read it. Uh, T. 
10th of April, 1859. Castaway, 153 degrees west longitude, 37 degrees 11 minutes south latitude, through mangrove swamp upstream. Ayrton. Wonderful. Now that we know where he is, perhaps we can ask if he knows where we are. You know, that's six years. The poor man. What are the chances of a castaway throwing a bottle into the ocean and having it retrieved by another group of castaways? Quite good, I'd say, when they're on the same island. I think he's here, on this island. No, not here. But yes, look, there's a map. And it's got to be a drawing of this island. I'm sure of it. I think you're right. <laughs> that mark must represent where he is. So we've been sharing this island with someone all along? If he hasn't long since been eaten by our bubble monster. What are those coordinates again? Um... 153 degrees west longitude, 37 degrees 11 minutes south latitude. Uh, Jack, what's the matter? Well, we can give up hope of being rescued here. We're nowhere near the sea routes. No ship will ever come this far south. Here's the Orient, Australia. North America, South America, and this is us. Then where is the nearest civilization? If memory serves me, Santiago, Chile, 70 degrees west, 33 degrees south, and that would make it... Some 4,500 miles east of us. Hmm. What about New Zealand? Would you care to hazard a guess at those coordinates? Um, 35 degrees south, 174 degrees east. I've, um, I've got a cousin in the colonial service there. 1,800 miles due west of us, more or less. Well done, Captain. And it is possible. It's not that far. We have a boat, and... And? And what? You can't be serious. Of course I am. Why else do you think we built the boat? Pencroft, you don't actually believe that in a boat of that size... Look, Captain, you may wish to spend the rest of your days on this island, but I have a family to consider. So do I. But there's 1,800 miles of open sea between us and New Zealand. And you said yourself we have no maps, no charts. I know that, but I'm prepared to take the risk. And what about Joanna and Herbert? I intend to go alone. If and when I can find help, I'll come back for the rest of you. No, Jack. If there's a chance I won't see you again, I'm coming with you. I want to come too, Father. I would love to take the both of you with me, but there is only room in the boat for one person and provisions, and that person is me. Well, whether we go to New Zealand for Christmas or not, we still have our castaway to consider. Indeed. Now, it looks like rough going on foot, according to this map, and the boat could use a test run. Up to it, Herbert. What you'll find when you get there, God knows. You better take provision for several days. And, of course, we'll need the full participation of the press. Isn't that right, Mr. Spillett? Um... Good. <laughs> I christened this boat the Lady Joanna. Hooray! You're here. <laughs> Very good. Come on, Father! Jack, you'll miss your own boat! Hang on, lads. Don't leave without the captain. Good luck! Come back safe. Wish us luck! Safe journey. Good luck, Hermes. Good luck. Here we go. They'll be all right, John. Jack knows what he's doing. Interruptions for boat building. We may even have our kiln finished in a day or two. Uh-huh, maybe. But there's lots to do. First, we have to make the bricks. Oh, that shouldn't be difficult. We have all the material we need now. Don't you worry, Neb. It'll be a masterpiece. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Pencroft, we're finally going to get started on that kiln. That's good, Neb. <laughs> yes. You go ahead, Neb. I'll be along in a minute. All right, Captain. I wouldn't worry too much. Oh, I'm not really worried, Captain. It's just that... 
Well, Herbert's such a sensitive boy, isn't he? Hmm. I sometimes wish Jack would realize that. Stop trying to make him into a younger version of himself. He wanted to go, Joanna. At his age, it's good for him to be with his father. That's true. I think I'll go for a walk. Do me good. I'll be back in time to polish the silver for tea. <laughs> Time for your first lesson in navigation. Uh, aye, aye, sir. A man who can read a compass will never get lost. Now we're heading north, northwest right now. I'll bring it to starboard two points. And you tell me what is our heading now? Watch how the arrow adjusts. It's not that complicated, Gideon. Just line up the arrow with north. Tell us which way we're going. Yeah. It appears to be... Herbert. It's spinning like a top. It was working fine this morning. What kind of place is this? I'm more inclined now to accept Captain Harding's opinion of your intended voyage to New Zealand. I can find New Zealand without a compass. There's a lot about sailing that's instinctual. And between a captain who's never been to sea and a newspaper man who gets seasick on calm water, I don't figure that their opinion for dead reckoning without a compass is worth that much. I'm coming, Neb. Whenever you're ready, Captain. Neb, what do you really think about this note? What do you mean? Well, come and look at it. There's no discoloration. There's no fading of the letters. The paper is not the least bit damp. And look, the ink will still smear. Hmm. I guess it's not that old. But the bottle... Looks like it's been in the ocean for the longest while. Exactly. To disguise the fact that the note was written very recently. What's more, I'd be willing to bet that it wasn't written by our castaway, Mr. Ayrton. Ah! By but a Spanish lady, one finger piece by candlelight. First she washed them, then she dried them. Amber cold. In all my life, ne'er did see a maid so pure about the soul. Dublin city, as the sun began to set. Who should aspire but a Spanish lady, catching a moth in a golden net? When she saw me, then she fled me. Fled. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he was a fine man, your father. Mrs. Pencroft has obviously forgotten about polishing the silk. Come again, Captain? I think we better go and give the lady an escort. Hello! Ah! Being eaten alive. How much further do you think? Till we find him. I hope our Mr. Ayrton is a welcoming sort of fellow. So do I, since this is where we'll be spending the night. Mr. Ayrton! Hello! I can't believe she would have gone any further than this. What can have happened to her? Let's hurry back. No smoke? No penance? I would have at least expected a fire. Maybe he was rescued. Maybe he's dead. Far more likely, I'm afraid. This is a lot more inhospitable than our end of the island. I'm glad we didn't land here. In the middle of nowhere, back or beyond, it's all the same to me. Wait. Is that a trail? Mr. Ayrton! The tree's been felled not too long ago from the looks of it. Look, a fence. It's a garden. There's carrots and... Oh, lettuce. Ha. I would love a tomato. There's some kind of hut over here. Ayrton? Oh, Mr. Ayrton is somewhat of an eccentric architect. <laughs> Ayrton? Petticoat. Dad. A kerosene lamp. Good, good. See if it works. Well, one thing is certain. It's been a very long time since anyone lived here. Oh. Oh. oh, look at this. Pots and cans and tools. Shovels? Let's just spill it. Forks and knives. <laughs> Pickaxe? Oh, soap. <laughs> Guns. Nails. Glass? And a pulley. And look. It's a mirror. Oh. Ammunition. Scissors. Herbert, spill it. Look about. If he had guns, there must be ammunition somewhere. Oh, trunk full. Got him. Good boy. Uh, with guns, we can hunt goats, seabirds. Keep looking. There must be more about somewhere. Spill it. Leave all that. Help us look. Oh, glory be. What? What is it? A pencil. <laughs> I found another pencil. I can keep writing. Well, you can keep your pencil. It's the guns I'm after. Oh, now, why doesn't that surprise me? We better pack up as much as we can. We'll stay here the night and then leave first thing at dawn. What about the vegetable garden? No, indeed. 
You must carefully take samples of everything. That lettuce was delicious. All right, gather up as much as you can. Dad? What about Mr. Ayrton? I don't think he would have left all this behind. I think our castaway must have met with a bad end. I'll come with you. Herbert, come here a moment, would you? Poor soul. I think we are too late. Yes, but if that's Mr. Ayrton, who buried him? Oh, see your point. I think it says Ayrton, but it's gonna... Ah! 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 Get me out of here! Herbert, what is it? I got stuff! Stop. It's a great... Yes, sir, and curious, sir. It's empty. Well, never mind it. Let's collect up all the things we need. Joanna! She must have lost her way! Take a look out there. Ah. Nip! The note's gone. Are you sure? Positive. I left the bottle on top of it. Why is he doing this? Why won't he show his face? Where are you? Do you think he's done something to Mrs. Pancroft? I think that was Mr. Ayrton. Yes. He was cutting in ropes on our bundles. Herbert, put out those lamps. I'll have to stand guard till morning. We better take turns standing watch. Try and get some sleep. Maybe Mr. Pancroft's right, Captain. Maybe the sooner we leave here, the better. You mean because of the Phantom? Well, yes. If it weren't for that, it wouldn't be so bad, would it? 
is a kind of paradise. We have everything that we really need here, don't we? Well, not everything, Captain. I would like to have a family, a wife. You must admit that would be rather hard to do here. Hmm. Well, I haven't forgotten about those things, Nip. But there are other things about our so-called civilization that I don't miss. All that destruction and hatred. I see no end to it. Now, if it happened that we couldn't leave, we'd have the chance to create something much different here. A land where the survival of all things is of the utmost importance. The knowledge alone that without the support of one another, we have nothing. We could do that here. Yes, I think we could. Good night, Captain. Don't wait too long to wake me. So you want paradise, Captain? But the color of his skin does not mean torture and death. There's no hunger and disease, no pain. look like to you then, Cyrus Harding? Mr. Ayrton, father, we can't just leave him here. It's possible it was, Pencroft. Six years alone on this dreadful island would turn anyone into an animal. And if we stay and find him, what do you suggest? Will we bring him home with us? Well, why not? He is a human being, Dad. And he wasn't trying to hurt us, I'm sure of it. We are stealing his things. He may have been human once, but not anymore. We'll have to keep that in mind if we want to stay alive. As I came down to Dublin City, as the sun began to set, who should aspire but a Spanish lady catching a moth in a golden night? When she saw me, then she fled me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Pencroft, 
What do you suggest we do now? Get out. Father, no! I said get out! Don't shoot. Can't you see he's just frightened? Herbert, stay back. You want to come with us? Please, Father. Keep a close eye on him. If he makes one move, shoot him. Pencroft, I, I'm so sorry. I, I, it's all right. It's all right. You were having a nightmare. We were so worried. What happened to you? What do you mean, what happened? I had a little nap, that's all. I wasn't gone long. Joanna, you've been gone a whole day and a night. No. No, that's impossible. I assure you it isn't. Ask no if you don't believe me. Wasn't he outside when you got back? Well, I didn't see him. Well, he must have gone to look for you then and, and let me sleep. What time of day is it? Um, must be mid-morning. I've never slept for 24 hours in my life. I can't believe I did that. That's very strange. Oh, well, Captain, I'm so sorry. It's all right, Joanna. Indeed, I slept abnormally long myself. Well, that's understandable. How long do you think Jack and Herbert will be? Knowing Jack, I'm sure he'll be back well before sunset. <laughs> Good. I feel a lot better when they're home safe and sound. Look here, Pencroft. This poor beggar obviously means us no harm. I'm beginning to feel more than a bit silly holding this in his face. Do let me put it down and have something to eat. I thought the water didn't agree with your stomach. Yes, well, neither does hunger. All right, Herbert, give him something. Fried fish. Maybe Mr. Ayrton would like some. Waste not, want not. Hey, would he like some of his own food? I believe we have before us a true vegetarian. <laughs>
believe our good captain is ready for you now. Nib! Glad you're back. Did you find our Mr. Ayrton? Oh, indeed we did. Well, where is he? He's not dead, is he? <laughs> no, Mother. Well, didn't you bring him with you? Surely you didn't leave the poor man all alone. No. In fact, you won't believe what we brought you. Philip, watch it, man. Jack? Are you all right, Mother? Yeah. Was that our Mr. Ayrton? Yes. What was he doing to you? I think he was just trying to give me these. Seeds. <laughs> Herbert, the boat! Pots and pans. You look nice and forked, too. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> All right. Open them. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> well, I do believe, sir, I will have the stance. <laughs> Madame. Secure the boat. Uh, uh, yes, brother. We lost him. He won't get away the next time. I'll find him and I swear I'll... You'll what, Jack? Kill him? For what reason? Jealousy because he touched your wife? He was just trying to give me these. Seeds, Jack, and seeds are food. Do you know what food is? He was pawing you like an animal. Stop it. And yes, when I catch him, I will kill him. Stop it. Oh, Jack, he didn't hurt Stop me. Stop it! Dead, Joanna. Oh my God! Snake bite. You've made a nice job of that, Herbert. He 
was my friend. Yes. Yes, he was a true friend. I never really gave him the time of day. I'm uh, ready for that cross now. to get ready now, Captain. It was a wonder to me, Neb, that you bore no bitterness in the face of such injustice. And I never said this to you, but it was really only your good nature that got me through all those awful years of the war. I thank you, Neb. I shall try to be worthy of your example. Forgive me now. Forgive me.